Hello, my fellow teabags. Simric77 coming at y'all today. Happy 4th of July. Hope it has been a safe and happy 4th of July. I hope y'all have had fun. Um, got a new hat for my 4th of July. What do y'all think? Digging on it. Even has the cool stuff underneath the bill in case I want to kick it old school style. But uh, that's this is not about my hat. It's not about the 4th. I'm actually going to... Uh, Post the uh, shout outs from the Earn a Shout Out 3 video. Because, um, to be perfectly honest, pretty much everybody who answered answered it correctly. Uh, I had 21 responses, and 20 of them were about the Earn a Shout Out. So, everybody who uh, responded, thank you. You got it right to a certain degree. Because if you want to get technical, it all boils down to money. Money's the main reason why uh, cannabis is illegal. Um, so, yeah, but the catalyst, the actual reason why marijuana became illegal, uh, it wasn't technically because of money, it was because of a man who was greedy. Um, but before I get started on that, I'm going to go ahead and list the shout outs real quick. Colt, Wo uh, Colt Woodsman, 22LR, AJ Prepper, Longnecker81, uh, The Pillow, uh, Oregonist, uh, Oregonist, however you say it, sorry bro, um, about three sheets to the wind right now, it's, my port has been fucking awesome, um, Danny Boy Sweden, L Marshall 32 Impressible34, I got your name right this time, bruh, yeah, uh, I see Rap Dog 90, Super C Richards, California Technical, Game Trailer Guru, Exacto, uh, Hemp Seed Addict, and Superfly Fat Guy 859. Congratulations, all y'all. Love it when people use their brains, man. I really do. It's just an awesome, cool thing. Um, I, just, I dig it, but we'll get down right to it. Uh, the main reason that cannabis is illegal is because of a man named William Randolph Hearst. Now, William Randolph Hearst uh, was uh, a man who owned a lot of paper goods, uh, a lot of stock and paper goods and paper mills. Um, now, uh, he also owned, uh, not owned, but he also had a partnership with DuPont at the time. And, uh, okay, let me just put it down to it like this. Uh, William Randolph Hearst was an American newspaper publisher who built the nation's first largest newspaper chain and whose methods of um, profoundly influenced American journalism. Hearst entered the publishing business in, in 1887 after taking control of the San Francisco Examiner from his father. Moving to New York City, he acquired the New York Journal and engaged in a bitter circulation war with Joseph Pulitzer's New York World, which led to the creation of yellow journalism. Sensationalized stories of uh, dubious ferocity acquiring more newspapers, Hearst created a chain that numbered nearly 30 papers in major American cities at its peak. He later expanded to magazines, creating the largest newspaper and magazine business in the world. Um, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, uh, he was also the inspiration for the Orson Welles movie Citizen Kane. And uh, he is the reason why uh, marijuana or cannabis is illegal. Um, now, uh, what happened was he had this partnership with uh, DuPont and they were trying to develop uh, new types of uh, oil and chemicals and this new type of paper and stuff like that. And Hearst, uh, his paper products were the worst, absolute worst. His newspapers fell apart after a week. <coughs> Which is, uh, you know, just just crazy. Just absolutely crazy. Uh, now, um, so, when 
he and so when Hearst and DuPont were trying to develop all this stuff, uh, they came across, um, you know, the fact that the hemp plant uh, was out doing their business and it wasn't doing it hard. It was majorly whipping his ass. Um, an acre in hemp produces four times the amount of paper as an acre of trees. Uh, the man who created the diesel engine, uh, Mr. Diesel himself, uh, actually created the diesel engine to run on biofuels, uh, specifically in mind hemp oil. So that was what he had in mind and it worked. Uh, so when they was figuring out the fact that they would go bankrupt in a matter of a couple of years, Hearst um did the best propaganda campaign in history the best uh because he was a journalist and a dirty journalist and created vivid wild stories he went on a slander campaign against cannabis to this very day have people convinced that this plant is harmful to you which to be perfectly honest, there are no studies, no scientific studies, no studies at all that solitarily prove that marijuana has any type of harmful or ill-gotten side effects. Uh, now, they have proven that it does have psychological um, side effects, which it can be considered addictive because some people do like the way that... Uh, Cannabis makes them feel, and they rather feel that than anything else. Can understand that. Uh, the drug has also been, you know, linked to doing good things too, like inducing uh, appetites in HIV and cancer patients. Uh, because one of the things that the body needs is fuel and nutrition and nutrients to survive. And believe it or not, man, believe it or not, uh, the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away not too far from the truth if you eat healthy you stay healthy so there you go uh even if your blood's out of your fucking mind so after that uh he went on uh to you know doing that uh and this went up well up to his death in 1951 uh when you know the 50s is when the movie and educational film Reefer Madness came out and Hearst actually uh, backed the money for that movie so that is you know that's why cannabis marijuana hemp is illegal all because of a man who was greedy who knew that one plant one plant could totally topple, topple his entire empire so he did what most business people do nowadays. If they can't join the competition, they eliminate it. So there you go, y'all. That is the reason why cannabis is illegal, uh, because of a prick. And to let y'all know, um, I do condone the use of marijuana. I do not use it that much myself, if I do use it all. Ha, 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 ha. Y'all figure that one out. Um, but I will suggest that y'all do y'all's homework because plain and simple, a man's greed is the only reason why marijuana is illegal. The only reason. Um, it's not a do about taxes because they can tax it. There's a way to tax everything. Trust me. Uh, even though taxes are technically illegal too, by the way, for those of y'all who do not know. Uh, read the uh, Declaration of Independence. It's in there. It was one of our uh, things that there would be no taxation. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm a man who does his homework. But, you know, that's another thing. So, thank you every, uh, once again, everybody who uh, commented on that. That's awesome. Y'all all technically got it right. Uh, but it all boils down to William Randolph Hearst. So for those of y'all who did not know, now you know, uh, and I suggest you give the plant its just, you know, rewards because it does have a lot of good medicinal uses, it does have a lot of good medical uses, and it does have a shit ton of uh, practical uses like rope, food, 
oil, cordage, clothing, bunch of stuff. A little tidbit of information for you right here. The fatty acids found in hemp seeds and hemp stems contain 90% or 98% of the daily allowed fatty acids that are healthy for you. I know one person on here who knows that, hemp seed addict, woman, you can uh, back me up on all this. I know you've done your homework. So there y'all go, man. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day. Keep y'all's finger in the troll. Thank you very much. Y'all awesome. Holla at y'all later. Have a good day. Bye.